Hello everybody, it's Gary with Schmidt House. Uh, kind of stuck inside today. I kind of planned on going out to the property and doing some skid steer work. I have a couple of little projects I want to do out there, things I need to get done, but kind of drizzly and rainy today, chance of thunderstorms, and I thought, you know, I don't want to drive 20 minutes away and have the bottom fall out of it and have to come back home anyway, so had some things here at the house I needed to get done, so I did uh, fertilize the yard and a couple of other things outside. Potting soil and stuff ready for some chili patines I want to plant or some seed I want to get try to get started. Uh, see if I have any luck at that. But anyway, there it was here. I was going to cook supper tonight. I'll make a quick video on what I'm going to make. Uh, I'll make my own type version of of uh, goulash, I guess you call it. My mom used to make goulash. Hers was real simple, just you know, deer meat or hamburger meat, whatever she had, salt and pepper, tomato sauce, and a little bit of Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce or whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, put a little of that in there and salt and pepper and the egg, the little noodles, the little elbow noodles. And that was it. That's what hers was. Uh, we used to have it all the time at school, school cafeteria. I mean, it was at least every other week. It seemed like we'd have goulash, or what I call goulash. But I've cooked it quite a few times, and every time I cook it, it's like everything else I do. It, it's never the same. I just throw in what I have here and there. Sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it seems like it's missing something, but it's always eatable. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cooked and uh, let y'all see how I do it. Maybe you have some suggestions. Maybe you think it's a great idea. Let me know. Let's, let's get with it. Okay, I got to help her for a little while until she gets bored with it. She wants to help cook. So first thing we'll do, I've got two pounds of uh, venison, ground venison. We'll throw them in the pan and we'll get them started. They're still partially frozen a little bit. Don't fall, baby girl. Gotta be careful. You like it? Yeah, not yet. It's not too hot yet. No, not yet. It's still just right. Well, you put the lid on it, put it down all low, and let it, since it's still partially frozen, let it heat up in there and thaw out. We don't want to cook this all the way. We want to get it partially brown, and then I've got one onion, chopped up onion, that I'm going to add in there to let it finish cooking. What are you singing? A-I-E. A-I-E? No, A-I-E. It's yucky. No, A-I-E. It's yummy? Oh, it's yummy. Well, not yet, but it's going to be yummy. Mm -hmm. You going to eat some of this with us later? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dear, Ma. Hey, what my head? Mm hmm? You don't like the movie that your sister's watching? No. No? You bored with that? No. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. What did you do? Mm -hmm. You don't know? You don't know what you did at school? Mm -hmm. I bet you played. Mm -hmm. I know you colored a picture. Yeah. And my mommy. And you had your show and tell today. Your V. Did your teacher like it? The letter V? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add the onions a little bit sooner than I normally would, but it'll be okay. Let them cook in there a little bit better with the meat. They're starting to produce a little juice at the bottom, so. I normally would add more onion to this, but 
girls don't really like onions, so I didn't put it quite as much as I normally would. Oh, you're not mad at me anymore? Good. I miss my mom. You miss your mom? I miss your mom too, but she'll be home in a little bit. She had to work a little bit late today for an event at her work. But that's, that's your mama's boss's fault. He makes her work late a lot. The venison's so lean, it doesn't make much, much juice in the pan, but it does make a little bit, enough to keep everything from sticking and, and helps the onions. But once this is a little bit cooked a little bit more, then we're gonna add some other stuff and that's gonna help all that. Oh, you got a spoon? Yeah. You ready to eat? Yeah. It's not ready to eat yet. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat it raw. I eat it raw, but you're not going to want to eat it raw. Maybe could have put just a little bit of lard to start that pan off there. With regular hammer meat, you never have to worry about it. There'd be so much liquid in there. It's fat. But I think it's going to work. Yeah, I'm not going to wait any longer. That's browned enough. Go ahead and add our a can of, I use this, I'm using diced tomatoes here. The fire roasted. It says with garlic, even though I'm going to add more garlic. Sometimes I just use regular tomatoes. Sometimes I use stewed tomatoes. Just whatever I have. Um, got a can of these chilies here. Hatch chilies are really good. These are uh, regular chilies that it says they're mild. So hopefully they're hopefully that's the case. And not overwhelming because I usually don't add that that's something I don't put in there but I'm going to find out hopefully it, it won't overwhelm the food can of tomato sauce and if you like your sticker you can just use tomato paste but I like mine a little juicier then Couple cups of water. It's all stirred together. I like these tomatoes because they're cut just perfect, almost, you know, bite size already. Seems to work really well. Okay. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of paprika. And I, that's the reason I'm adding two is because that's what I put in my chili. And that's the way I like it. I'm not going to put chili powder in this. We're going to go with one teaspoon of bouillon powder. Chicken bouillon powder. We're going to go with two, two cloves minced, two, two cloves of minced garlic. I would do three, but since the, the uh, tomatoes already had garlic in them, the two is going to be enough. And we're going to go with about two teaspoons of soy sauce. We'll try that, taste it. We may have to add a little more. Makes a big difference in your... You know, my mother, she made it. I think she used Worcestershire sauce. Which, that's good too, but I don't know. The soy sauce to me is a little better. But it's just... Your taste, whatever you like. 
I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit, simmer, and let everything get all together. I didn't add any salt and pepper. I'll do that later once this is all cooked. I'll take a little test and, and check it out uh, because there is salt in this canned tomatoes. So uh, trying to cut back on salt too. So try not to add so much. So we're gonna let this cook for a while and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, we've been simmering for about 20 minutes. A quick stir here. There's quite a bit of juice on there. That's I like that. I like it juicier. Now if you use the tomato paste, I think it turns it a darker red color, darker color. But I don't like it, like I say, so thick. I like more and more like a soup. Anyway, now we're going to add our elbow noodles. And what I had, I had a bag of these small ones that was open. We came out to one cup, and I want to get rid of them, so I'm just going to use them. And I'm going to add another cup of the large ones. Two cups total. And we'll see what that looks like. That's going to work. We're going to cover that again. We'll let it cook probably another 15 minutes or until the noodles are, are done. I'll probably let it cook five minutes or so. Stir it. Another five minutes, eight minutes. We'll check them. And, and we'll be good to go. Okay, they've been cooking about 15 minutes with the noodles. And the noodles are looking really good. And see how it thickened up? I mean, once you put the noodles in it, it soaks the juice up. And that's about perfect. You know, the one thing I normally add in here and I didn't because I didn't have any was I put a couple of bay leaves in here in the goulash. Didn't have any. We're going to do it without. If it doesn't turn out good, you can see I lost my helper. I wanted to be able to blame it on her, but Mama came home and she was out of here. So she didn't want to hang with Daddy no more. So I can't blame it on her. It doesn't turn out good. It's it's my own fault. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Got any suggestions? Let us know. Uh, and as always, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.